Good morning, students. Welcome to my class, Listening Comprehension for Grade 12. In our meeting today, we are going to learn a short conversation, and the topic is occupations. In this exercise, we are going to listen to 10 short conversations, and each conversation will be followed by one question. Still with me, Coach Ahmad Riwayadi from SMA Yasan Pupokaltim, Punta, Kalimantan Timur. Part 3. Conversations. Strategy Practice. Who? Directions. Listen to the conversations on the audio and try to identify the occupation of the speakers. The words in the previous vocabulary exercise will be helpful to you. Remember to use the language strategies described on page 67. Question 1 refers to the following conversation. I love the way she sings. Me too. She has a beautiful voice. I have all her recordings. I hope we can get tickets for her concert. It shouldn't be difficult. No one likes opera. Number 1. Who are the speakers talking about? Question 2 refers to the following conversation. Did the telephone repair person come? Not yet. He said he'd come after lunch. You mean we can't use our phones until then? You can always use your mobile phone. Number 2. Who are the speakers waiting for? Question 3 refers to the following conversation. The service in this restaurant is very slow. I hope our waitress comes soon. I'm really hungry. She didn't even bring us our drinks. I wouldn't give her a tip. Let's give her a chance. Number 3. Who are the speakers waiting for? Question 4 refers to the following conversation. I'm planning to give a test the first day of school. I don't like giving tests. I don't think they accurately measure a student's performance. If my students hear that, they'll want to go to your class. Number 4. Who are the speakers? Question 5 refers to the following conversation. What time is the accountant coming this afternoon? As soon as he finishes our tax forms. I hope he adds the numbers correctly this time. Do you remember all the mistakes he made on our last tax filing? We should get a new tax accountant. We can't afford to keep this one. Number 5. Who is coming this afternoon? Question 6 refers to the following conversation. I advise you to eat less and exercise more. First you change my diet, now you want me to exercise? As your physician, I know what's best for you. I want you to be healthy. Sorry, doctor. My body says eat and rest. Number 6. Who is giving advice? Question 7 refers to the following conversation. Hurry up. The taxi is here. He can wait a few minutes. I'll be right there. I hope the driver doesn't put the meter on. It's expensive enough to take a cab. Number 7. Who is waiting? Question 8 refers to the following conversation. Did I get any phone messages? Yes. The mechanic called to say he's finished the repairs on your car. Great. I'll pick it up after my tennis lesson this afternoon. I can give you a ride to the garage. Number 8. 
Who left a phone message? Question 9 refers to the following conversation. This is Mr. Gomez. How can I help you? I'd like to book a flight to Paris for next week. I can get you a good price on that. Would you like me to reserve a hotel room for you, too? Yes, and a rental car, too, please. Number 9. Who is Mr. Gomez? Question 10 refers to the following conversation. You play with the city orchestra, don't you? Yes, I play the violin. I hear you're having a concert at the stadium next week. Could you get me some tickets? I think all of our performances are sold out. Number 10. Who is the woman talking to? After listening to the conversations above, now let's start discussing question number one. Question number one. Who are the speakers talking about? A. A beautician. B. A ticket seller. C. A concert pianist. D. A singer. Which one is the correct answer? Let's take a look on the script of conversation one. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 1. The woman says, I love the way she sings. The man says, Me too. She has a beautiful voice. I have all her recordings. The woman says, I hope we can get tickets for her concert. The man says, it shouldn't be difficult. No one likes opera. The question is, who are the speakers talking about? To answer this question, let's see the keywords. The keywords are, sings, a beautiful voice, her recordings, her concert. From these keywords, we know that the speakers are talking about a singer. Question number two. Who are the speakers waiting for? A. The delivery person with lunch. B. The telephone technician. C. The television salesman. D. The computer programmer. To answer question number two correctly, let's see the script or the subtitle of conversation two. This is the script or the subtitle of conversation two. The man says, Did the telephone repair person come? The woman replies, not yet. He said he'd come after lunch. The man says, You mean we can use our phones until then? The woman answers, You can always use your mobile phone. The question is, Who are the speakers waiting for? To answer this question, it is enough to understand the question of the man. Did the telephone repair person come? The telephone repair person means the telephone technicians. So, the speakers are waiting for the telephone technician. Question number three. Who are? the speakers waiting for a a cab driver b a friend c a waiters d a client to answer this question let's go to the script 
or the subtitle of Conversation 3. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 3. The woman says, The service in this restaurant is very slow. The man replies, I hope our waiters come soon. I'm really hungry. The woman says, She didn't even bring us our drinks. I wouldn't give her a tip. The man says, Let's give her a chance. The question is, Who are the speakers waiting for? To answer this question, there are some keywords that will help us. The keywords are this restaurant, our waiters, bring us our drinks, give her a tip. From these keywords, we know that the speakers are waiting for a waiters. Question number four. Who are the speakers? A. Teachers. B. Police officers. C. Accountants. D. Travel agents. Well, students, who are the speakers? Actually, Let's take a look again, the script or the subtitle of Conversation 4. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 4. Woman 1 says, I'm planning to give a test the first day of school. Woman 2 says, I don't like giving tests. I don't think they accurately measure a student's performance. Woman 1 says, If my students hear that, they will want to go to your class. The question is, Who are the speakers? Who are the women? Let's see some keywords in this conversation. To give a test. The first day of school. My students. From these keywords, we know that the speakers or the two women are teachers. Question number five. Who is coming this afternoon? A. An athlete. B. An accountant. C. A carpenter. D. A math teacher. Which one is the correct answer? Let's take a look. The script or the subtitle of Conversation 5. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 5. The woman asks, What time is the accountant coming this afternoon? The man replies, As soon as he finishes our tax form. The woman says, I hope he adds the numbers correctly this time. Do you remember all the mistakes he made on our last tax filing? The man says, we should get a new tax accountant. We can afford to keep this one. The question is, who is coming this afternoon? To answer this question, it is enough to understand the question of the woman in the beginning of this conversation. What time is the accountant coming this afternoon? So, who is coming this afternoon? Of course, an accountant. Question number six. 
Who is giving advice? A. A doctor. B. A waiter. C. An exercise coach. D. An athlete. Do you know the correct answer? Let's check the script or the subtitle of Conversation 6. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 6. The man says, I advise you to eat less and exercise more. The woman replies, First, you change my diet. Now you want me to exercise. The man says, As your physician, I know what's best for you. I want you to be healthy. The woman says, Sorry, doctor. My body says, Eat and rest. The question is, who is giving advice? There are some keywords. The keywords are, I advise you. So the man is giving advice. The next keyword is, as your physician. Physician means a doctor. The next keyword is sorry doctor. So who is giving advice or who is the man? Of course, he is a doctor. Question number seven. Who is waiting? A, a gardener. B, a taxi driver. C, a mail carrier. D, a musician. To know the answer correctly, let's see again the script or the subtitle of Conversation 7. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 7. The man says, Hurry up, the taxi is here. The woman replies, He can wait a few minutes. I'll be right there. The man says, I hope the driver doesn't put the meter on. It's expensive enough to take a cab. The question is, who is waiting? There are some keywords that will help us. And the keywords are the taxi, the driver, and a cab. So, who is waiting there? Of course, he is a taxi driver. Question number eight. Who left a phone message? A, a taxi driver. B, a tennis coach. C, a telephone repair person. D, an auto mechanic. To answer this question correctly, let's see again the script or the subtitle of Conversation 8. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 8. The woman asks, Did I get any phone messages? The man replies, Yes. The mechanic called to say he's finished the repairs on your car. The woman says, Great, I'll pick it up after my tennis lesson this afternoon. The man says, I can give you a ride to the garage. The question is, who left a phone message? There are some keywords that will help us answering this question. The keywords are the mechanic, the repairs, on your car. From these keywords, we know that who left a phone message is an auto mechanic. Question number nine. Who is Mr. Gomez? A. A bookseller. B. A hotel manager. 
C. A travel agent. D. A banker. To know the correct answer, let's see the script or the subtitle of Conversation 9. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 9. The man says, This is Mr. Gomez. How can I help you? The woman says, I would like to book a flight to Paris for next week. The man says, I can get you a good price on that. Would you like me to reserve a hotel room for you too? The woman says, yes, and a rental car too, please. The question is, who is Mr. Gomez? There are some keywords that will help us answering this question. The keywords are to book a flight, a good price, to reserve a hotel room, a rental car. From these keywords, we are positive that Mr. Gomez is a travel agent. Question number 10. Who is the woman talking to? A. An athlete. B. A musician. C. A travel agent. D. A police officer. To know the answer, let's see the script or the subtitle of Conversation 10. This is the script or the subtitle of Conversation 10. The woman says, you play with the city orchestra, don't you? The man replies, yes, I play the violin. The woman says, I hear you are having a concert at the stadium next week. Could you get me some tickets? The man replies, I think all of our performances are sold out. The question is, who is the woman talking to? Or who is the man? There are some keywords that will help us answering this question. The keywords are city orchestra. I play the violin. A concert. Our performances. From these keywords, we are 100% positive that the woman is talking to a musician. Well, students, this is the end of our discussion. Thank you very much for joining my class and good luck. See you on the next exercise. Bye-bye.